You don't need a luxury kitchen to prepare gourmet meals. My name is Dennis. I live in a mobile home in a trailer park, and this is my kitchen. I want to make something easy today because some of what I've made recently is rather complicated. I think it's time to do something really simple. Another reason why is because this is the time of the year when it gets dark early. It's dark by five o'clock. And the, the way I like to finish these videos is I like to set up a nice plate of food, put it on the dining room table near the windows and use natural lighting to get my finished best shots of the day. Those photographs I call my royals, and those are the ones I use to feature the recipe on my website. So I have to be done early, and here it is almost 11 o'clock already because it takes me several hours to get set up to do a video. So what I want to make today is a simple version of veal scallopini with spaghetti. We made something similar in an Italian cooking course that I took for nine months. It's not a complicated recipe. It sounds fancy, veal scallopini, but it's really easy. So let's talk about the veal that I'm going to use. This is my veal here. It comes pre-sliced at the warehouse store. Nice thin slices. This is the reason why I want to make veal scallopinis because for a long time the warehouse store didn't carry veal. They have it now. I saw it in the case and I thought I'm going to make veal scallopini. Per serving you need about three to four ounces of veal. That's about 85 to 113 grams each. These veal slices that I'm using are small. They're only about one and a half ounces each, less than 45 grams. So I'm going to figure two to three slices of veal per serving. And one thing that's a little unique in one recipe that I found that's supposedly a Tuscan, a traditional Tuscan way of preparing veal scallopini is to soak the veal in eggs for a half an hour before they're breaded and fried. So I'm going to break a couple of eggs in this bowl here. These are extra large eggs. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Break this up. And I'm not going to do a lot of veal because I'm only going to do basically enough to get a nice tasting and also have enough to set up for photographs. That's nice. And then I'm going to just get my veal here well coated in my eggs. I'll do about six pieces, I guess. Okay, so there's my veal soaking in eggs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover this with plastic and let this sit for half an hour. Then we'll return to this, bread it, and start frying it. While I'm waiting for my veal to soak in the eggs, I want to talk about my cheater sauce. I have done this so many times. Now I have on the website and on YouTube a recipe and a video for making marinara from scratch. But I've done this cheater sauce so many times. And when I serve it to guests, they taste it and go, hmm, hmm, you made this yourself, didn't you? And I say, yeah, I put it together myself. Hmm, I can tell because it tastes homemade. Well, it's my cheater sauce. This is my cheater sauce right here. But how I make this is I use half Classico. This is Classico tomato and basil, which to me is too herby. It has too strong of an herb flavor. And I use half Prego, which has too much sugar in it. The second ingredient listed after the tomatoes is sugar. This is too sweet. This has too much herbs. But if I use 50-50 and assemble it in a jar and mix it up, it has a really nice homemade flavor. So yeah, I do put it together myself. It's a cheater sauce. And I told you when I started, I'm going to do this the easiest possible way today. I need to coat my veal with breadcrumbs. So I'm going to put maybe a cup of breadcrumbs in a plate here. I don't know that I'm going to use all of this. That's about three ounces or 85 grams. My veal now has been soaking in the eggs for 30 minutes. 
So I'm ready to start breading this and frying it. In the meantime, I'm heating oil on the stove and water for cooking spaghetti. So I'm going to take my veal slices here and coat these well with bread crumbs. Because I'm going to be cooking this in the hot oil and, and I want this to brown really well. I got more than enough breadcrumbs. By the way, for the breadcrumbs, you can use seasoned or unseasoned. You can make your own. You can use panko, which is made with just the white of the bread. Or you can use just the standard breadcrumbs that come in the store. This doesn't really matter. The regular breadcrumbs include the crust of the bread when they make the breadcrumbs. Panko, as I said, is just the white of the bread. I've heated oil in a skillet to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 191 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to be cooking my veal cutlets. Not for very long. About 30 seconds per side. All I really want to do is just brown these on each side. And then I'm going to move them to a tray that I've lined with paper towel to soak up any extra oil. So as you can see, these are browning up very nicely. That's what I want, nicely browned veal cutlets. I've cut my sauce here over medium heat. I'm going to bring this up to it just where it starts to simmer. And then I'm going to lower my heat to low and put my scallopini in there and let it simmer in the sauce for about 20 minutes to finish the cooking. I would say the browning cooked that veal all the way through because it is thin, but I'm going to finish cooking it in the sauce. And meanwhile, as I mentioned, I have hot water coming up to a boil. I'm going to cook my spaghetti in this. You can use store-bought spaghetti for this. I said to do it the easiest possible way. This is my spaghetti. I made pasta from scratch last night. It was just simply easier for me to put this together than to make a second trip to the store. I have on my website and on YouTube a video and a PDF recipe on how to do pasta from scratch. You don't have to do that for this. The real highlight of this dish is the sauce and the, the veal scallopini, not the spaghetti. Go with whatever is the easiest way for you. But I'm going to just be rolling my own spaghetti. I've rolled my pasta into sheets. I'm going to put on my spaghetti attachment. And by the way, you could use linguine with this. I also have a linguine attachment. I could use that, but I'm going to work with spaghettis today. Oops. Get this into the right rollers and then just roll it. And there's my spaghettis. I'm going to put my spaghetti in here. If you're working with packaged spaghetti, just cook it according to package directions. This is fresh pasta. This is going to cook in only a minute or two. How I would plate this is there's my pasta, fresh cooked. If you want to twirl that into a nest, that's what some of them do. It's a fancy way of doing it. Put one of your veal cutlets on the side like so. That's cooked in the sauce. And then spoon some of your sauce over the top. <laughs> that is looking so good already. A little bit more. And this is where I like to use extra virgin olive oil. A lot of people cook with it, but this burns at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 191 degrees Celsius. I cooked the veal cutlets in corn oil, which has a smoke point of 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 232 degrees Celsius. So I didn't have to worry about burning it. And then 
garnish this with some freshly grated Romano or Parmesan cheese. And there you have it. Veal scallopini with spaghetti. Okay, the favorite part of my day, tasting it. I cut off a little bit of my veal scallopini here. Tender, so tender and delicious. And of course, spaghetti is always good. And the fact that it's homemade, well, it's gonna be just that little bit of extra better. <laughs> and see, garnishing it with a little bit of olive oil, I can taste that. That's so much better, so excuse me. I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch. For a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs, visit the White Trash Cooking website and look on the home page or in the recipe archive.